Hey Vault Dwellers, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. Today's video will show you three culprits in Fallout 76 that are eating away at your free space in your stash. The first thing we're going to do to free up space in your stash is by tabbing over to your junk tab to see what you have excessive amounts of. Usually it's cloth, leather, and steel. One way to get rid of a lot of steel is by making throwing knives at the weapons bench, which will earn you some XP. Afterwards, you can scrap them to regain some of the steel back. Rinse and repeat until you're at a more manageable amount. If you're a non-power armor user, you can make stacks of level 1 leather armor and scrap them to learn mods. If you need to keep your junk, you can use the tinkering bench and, with plastic, bulk them, which saves space. Typically, bulking only is worth it, though, for aluminum and lead. But the main reason for bulking it is it allows you to sell the junk at vendors. While you're looking through your junk tab, look out for some items that are used to turn into other items. Auto scrapping won't scrap these items, and they're usually quite heavy, so you can manually scrap them to save weight. The second area I'd recommend looking at is the Aid tab. I found in certain power armor builds that I'm rarely taking big damage and have tons of Stimpaks, Radaway, and Radax. Not to mention combat mads that I don't want to get addicted to. Sell these along with probably tons of purified water that you have saved up. I like to keep about 10 purified water on hand, none in the stash, and with the new legendary perk card system, only 20 Radax. 20 Radaway, and maybe 20 Stimpaks in the stash. On my person, I'll hold about 30 Stimpaks, 10 Radax, and 10 Radaway, but I almost find myself never using them. Your experience might be different, especially if you're not using power armor once again, but what I'm trying to get at is that these are aid items that are probably clogging up your stash unnecessarily. The third area that we're going to look at now is ammo. In particular, we're looking for missiles, mini nukes, and the 40mm nades. All three are very heavy and likely something you've stockpiled for a rainy day that'll never come. Worst case scenario, you'll just drop them on the ground or give them to other players. Best case scenario, you use it all in a public event to easily tag many enemies at once. Same thing with grenades, I'll equip them all and throw them every few seconds in public events to tag and earn experience credit. As a bonus tip for saving space, if you're doing a lot of public events and you're dead set on keeping every legendary, sell your 1 star items first, which are worth less, allowing you to sell more on a daily basis. If you have too many legendary power armor pieces, I would even look for empty power armor chassis and throw them in because when power armor pieces are stored in a chassis, it only weighs 10 pounds no matter how many pieces are inside. So those are my space saving tips in Fallout 76. I hope this helps you out. Check out the rest of my channel for other videos on Fallout 76 video games, board games, and other fun things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.